More than 2,000 people are without jobs tonight after one of the Valley's largest and fastest growing companies laid them off over Zoom. ABC 15's Karen Archer has the story on Carvana and the big round of cuts. I'm sad to have to say goodbye. To help answer the many questions going through your mind, you will receive an email at the end of today to your personal email account. This is a Zoom recording shared with ABC 15 on Tuesday. It's the moment some Carvana employees found out they were being let go. In total, 2,500 employees, that's 12% of Carvana's workforce laid off today. In an email obtained by ABC 15, Carvana CEO Ernie Garcia blaming layoffs on all-time high car prices slowing sales to recession levels. We spoke with the mother who says that she has two children who work for Carvana. One was laid off today. She feels Carvana has been a great company, even helping one of her kids raise money for medical bills. But she says she expected more. It's a mix of emotions. It really is. I want to say that, you know, I understand that a company falls on hard times, but I, I think that they grew too fast. And grow they have. Revenue for the company has grown from $858 million in 2017 when they went public to $12.8 billion in 2021, a 14-fold increase. Economist Jim Round says that one of Carvana's major problems is that the business model that made them successful is no longer innovative. Now there's lots of other groups that have the same way of doing business, even the old uh, um, car dealers. Uh, you can go and you can buy your car almost sight unseen. Carvana's stock was a darling of the pandemic era market, reaching a peak of almost 350 a share in August of 2021. Today, the stock closing just below 39, a decline of almost 90%. In a statement filed with the SEC, Carvana reported that executives will be foregoing their salaries for the rest of the year to contribute to the severances of those laid off. We reached out to Carvana for comment and they sent us a statement that read in part, we believe these decisions, while extremely difficult, will result in Carvana restoring a better balance to our operations and facilitate the company returning to efficient growth. I'm Garrett Archer for ABC 15 Arizona.